What comment? A very decisive comment about the console wars I got on a video. People are still banging on about that. People will bang on about anything, regardless of whether people are listening or not, as this podcast is a, about to prove. Yeah, yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Um, I think this was partway through a very long argument. Uh, and yeah, I, I find it very hard to argue against this person's infallible logic. So would you like to hear the comment? So so this is the the logic that will win any argument, is it? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much... Well, I'll I'll let the comment do it. Right, okay. Just, just, yeah, I'll try and read it as best as possible. But keep in mind, there's a lot of letters missing. Oh God! <laughs> the best kind of YouTube uh-huh. comment. Okay, here we go. Honestly, there are a lot more reasons why PS3 is gay. Sony doesn't have any security whatsoever. Remember the long period where the multiplayer system was down due to hackers? Question mark. Or that about just the minor hacks on games that make games like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, Madden, Battlefield, and other big online games go to shit, question mark. Then there's a lot more people on Xbox alone. Also on Xbox dashboard, Microsoft gives a lot more to offer. We have Minecraft, which is, which is another great game. I'm 19 years old. No, sorry, I said that wrong. I said that too well. I'm 19 old enough to know this shit. <laughs> I am 19 old enough to I, know this I, shit. I am 19 old enough. <laughs> English might not be their first language, but... No, I think it is, because there was enough spelt correctly and enough shorthand of the stuff that wasn't. So... I'm 19 old enough. <laughs> people are having some sort of really weird-ass argument on your channel. You would be surprised what kind of arguments break out on videos about anime. Ah, oh, God. Usually it's just arguments about the anime, but every so often it's what system is better or, you know, the, the stuff, my football team's better than your football team, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My football team totally did something your football team didn't. Mm, like my phone won a legal battle against your phone. So nah, yeah, yeah, that's a good point, actually. My phone did win a legal battle against your phone, so it's better. In Germany, so it doesn't count. In the UK as well. UK doesn't count. The UK counts, that's where I live. I live in the K part of the UK. I live in Latin. <laughs> <laughs> I I am from Latin. Indeed. Do you have any weird comments on any of your videos? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get any comments. Nobody puts Aww. any comments on my videos. They're just not even noodles. No, not even noodles. I think he's just yeah. abandoned us. He's probably found some other podcast people to troll or something. Troll noodles, come back. Uh... We love you. there random guy <laughs> that isn't really the enthusiasm i was talking it's about the enthusiasm you want we're here it's bringo hurty gaming podcast episode I'm 37 burning. i'm keeping track i'm keeping fucking track it's 37 have you been drinking no not yet oh no no I'm, welcome I'll... to a subpar edition of the <laughs> bringo subpar. Hurry podcast. alcohol free since last week Oh yeah, you got drunk last week for us doing it and then we didn't bother because we didn't yes. have anything to talk about. Yes, I got all tanked up, ready to do the podcast uh, and then it kind that of... Made, that made playing Borderlands that evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we, we we postponed it for a week because we had nothing to talk about. Because um, we've been playing too much stuff and there's not been anything happening really. But now we're back with a vengeance. Yeah, even though we've been playing lots of games and not much has happened anyway. But, oh, don't worry, I've got plenty of content. Well, pants. you... Yeah, I, do you say in your pants? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of content in my pants, I get it. I, yeah, it works, it works, mm. it works. So, I'm Blighty, he's Flick. That's all the introduction's over, that's all you're getting. We'll okay. Straight into it, shall we? Yes, into this, bringohurry at gmail.com <laughs> podcast. <laughs> this isn't the whoring part. Or well, you can do, you spread it around now yeah. like an STD. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Bringo Hardy, the STD. Let's jump into what will probably take up a vast majority of this podcast, which Deviant is what we're killer. playing. Deviant Killer? Yeah. Is that an STD? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Bringo Hardy, the Deviant Killer. <laughs> That'll teach you for listening around. 
better put some protection on your ears. So, yeah, yeah we, we kick things off with what we've been playing for the last two weeks, three weeks. No, 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 wait, wait, before we do that, I had to, I had three empty Tic Tac boxes in front of me. <sighs> two of them are Cherry Passion and one is Lime and Orange. I had to make sure the Lime and Orange was in the middle. But it's fine now. <laughs> okay, Excuse so get what help. are you saying? Get <laughs> help. What were you saying about that um, thing? <laughs> <laughs> What have Something we been, you've been playing? playing? Two weeks, but it's actually the last three weeks. But the list is not changed since last week. Mm-hmm. You haven't played anything new this week, have you? Yes, I have. Haven't... I have. Yes, oh. I have indeed. Damn. So, okay, we'll start things off. Resident Evil Six. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's start with that because we're not going to cover it in detail yet because we're still going to do that special video review type thing once we've finished it because we haven't finished it yet. Yep. Technically. It's taking We're, a long time to, to record our way through it. Um, yes. Well, and plus, also, we have been busy, so we've been resorting to doing Borderlands in the evening because we're not... Well, we're rendering... We've not got the energy to record. Rendering the footage. <laughs> While rendering the footage, yeah. yeah. So we last as of last night, we finished Chrissy's campaign, so that's two out of the three co-op campaigns done. Yep, yep. Uh, I don't think I'll bother doing a recording of a solo playthrough of the Ada one. No, no, no. Nobody wants to see that anyway. New, unless there is some kind of co-op element to it, then we'll have to just for completionist sick. I'm enjoying it, despite all of the people you know kicking off that it's Gears of War, and you know we, we've made our own references to it. I am enjoying yeah. it a lot, and there are I've, there are I've, a lot of faults. I find myself enjoying it <laughs> at times, but rarely because of anything to do with the game play. You mean intentional? I find the writing hilarious. I find the horrible level design amusing slash annoying. So yeah, I I'm just having a, I find the dialogue the funniest. It is some of the worst writing ever, and I, it is brilliant because of that. It, I it, love the way it doesn't flow. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to do a slightly over exaggerated example of how the dialogue flows. Chris, she went this way. I'm not having noodles for dinner tonight. <laughs> that's how the that's how it flows between people. <laughs> There's just no connection to the dialogue at all. You could hear one part and the second part and not know the people were in the same room. <laughs> it is pretty crazy. But Chris's was worse than Leon's for that, I should point out. Chris's di- um Leon's dialogue wasn't too bad other than him being a moron. Yeah. We just we just yeah, we we basically you just put that down to him being simple. Just simple in the head. Yeah. And then if you if you assume that Leon is is He's taken simple. one too many blows to the head. Yeah, if he if he's had some sort of Brain I mean, he, has, he has been thrown around and shot and whatever else. So if yeah, so if you if you go around with that you know mental image that that he is actually just you know a bit special, <laughs> um, it, it's perfectly fine. It makes perfect sense. It just he just seems to be like this simpleton that's going around killing zombies. <laughs> so <laughs> there's nothing yeah, wrong with that. There's no, nothing. although he did try and retool him as an action hero, which yeah. is a bit tacky, but. Yeah, I, I don't mind Leon's campaign, especially after now playing through Chris's, which is by far a lot worse. But Chris's is, was was going to be the the gears ish, um, Call of Duty ish mm-hmm. campaign. We knew that from the demo. Yes, we did. The only thing that kept me playing Chris's campaign was the dialogue. <laughs> very, very enjoyable bad dialogue. It, it, it was there was a nice, I won't say twist at the end, but there was a nice thing that happens towards the end, which you'll see when either you. Play in a month, or, probably in about a month's time when we finally this oh the fucking hell there's so many episodes it just yeah. oh god yeah where you can't fault it is on length of content you're getting on the desk oh that's damn sure because it's five it is five hours of campaign like they promised oh yeah give or take like half an hour say so yeah by all by all accounts I think it was about four and a half it took us for Chrissy's and it was just over five for Leon's but well, that's because we were getting used to things I imagine Jake's will probably be slightly shorter. Just because we're now used to it, and we can push on. Yeah, yeah. It's um, mm. it's 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 unique. I'll, I'll <laughs> give it that. <laughs> yeah, and we shouldn't say too much on the matter because, as you said, yeah, we we're, we're going to go into detail. Hopefully, we'll have that special piece that we're planning well, to do. I can link into it though. Is Capcom Bear and Take Fun Time? Uh, don't do this. I'm afraid so. I'm oh afraid. no! I'm afraid. On disc DLC has been found. <sighs> by hackers and they've proven it's on there by releasing videos of them using it prior to it even being announced to be released 
Fantastic. Yeah, so I, I don't even know if the videos will still be up by now. I imagine Capcom will be going all kind of... Rawr, 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 yeah. salmon. Rawr, 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 honey, salmon. Sam, salmon? I said salmon. No, I said salmon. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. So yeah, I watched the video. Um, so to give you a heads up on what DLC is being added, it's DLC taunts. Costumes, amongst which there's very, very skimpy ones for all the female characters. Oh, of course there is. And, you know, fancy, sexy uniforms, blah, 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 Japanese game. Uh, new attacks, by which I think I think it meant uh, characters can use styles and equipment not usually given to them, as far as what equipment they have in the mercenaries mode. Alright, okay. There's a new difficulty mode. Didn't really look into what was different about that. Um, and that's about it. So okay. expect to be paying for that content that's already on the disc sometime soon? Can you soon? imagine paying for additional DLC taunts? I mean, seriously. Yeah, well, you say that, but Capcom charges for different colour schemes of Street Fighter costumes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Somebody's buying it. Somebody is buying it. Heads up to anyone who does want any DLC for it. Wait until there's like a gold edition or a complete pack, because then at least you'll kind you technically save yourself money, even though you're technically not because it's on the disc. But you know, it'll be cheaper than you're giving, you're giving them less money, and that's a moral victory of some level. <laughs> <laughs> moral some... victory is always the best kind of victory because I never really get moral victory. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That it comes with having no morals. It does. Your moral compass was stood on many years ago. It was. So that was Resident Evil Six. We both yes, been playing that. Borderlands Two. We've both been playing that as well. We have, and we have now finished it, and we've also started playing through the first DLC pack available for it. So, which part would you like to discuss first? Uh, Keeping in mind we haven't even finished the DLC yet, but. You know, let's initial start, impressions. Let's start with the initial, the initial vanilla release then. Yeah, it's um, a lot of fun. Actually, it is a lot of fun. I, I remember playing through the first one, and because it was mostly but she played so- alone. Yeah, it was mostly uh, solo on it. A little bit with me, I remember, but that's- and a little bit with my brother. Yeah, and that that kind of destroyed the experience. It was fun, but it's even more fun to go hunting for better lootses when there's somebody else that's that's there. And you you know you've got the banter that fills in the I don't know if it's like gaps in 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 a, a script or anything like that, but having somebody else there for for a game like that is important. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would say I would say Resident Evil Six might be something that's you know you can get through that on your own because. Yeah, you probably could. But Borderlands, no, no. You need to play that with other people. I can imagine having yes, you do. a full deck of four people playing it would be quite good fun, but a little chaotic. Well, I mentioned. I think I mentioned a long time ago in the podcast that I I played through the first Borderlands by myself pretty much, and as a result, I didn't think of it too highly. But yeah, I, I knew going through this would be a hell of a lot better with more people. And um, it was, and, and, and it was the, yeah. some of the some of the script writing on it is, but I mean, Handsome Jack is <laughs> is, is, is de- going down as. See if we do at the end of the year, we do another rundown. Yeah, I had a feeling you would say that that he might be cropping up in end of year awards, which we will be having. We'll have the end of year awards for all the the random non standard <laughs> awards that we tend to have. Yeah. Um, Handsome Jack will probably go in there for something. I mean, yeah, he's brilliant. Go Google up like Handsome Jack Butt Stallion. So don't yeah. don't Google that because it might be quite dangerous for your uh, for your computer. Your internet search history. <laughs> yeah, don't let your parents see that. But and as I, I was going to say, ignoring the butt stallion and childish humour, from a writing perspective, Handsome Jack is a good character because you'll both find him funny, find him annoying, and also hate him. Yes, from the perspective of the story, that's why it does such a good job. It's it's like. They do backstory quite cunningly with the the echo recorders and stuff. Mm. And even really early on, one of the first ones that you pick up where it's him and it's the the train that was hijacked and stuff, it's quite brutal. And it it lays it down really early on. This is actually a really bad person. And it Mm. might, you know, layer that with that little bit of sort of comedy and humor and... uh, Yeah, Yeah. it it works well. It It works very well. A prime example that isn't related to any characters from the first one or anything is much later in the game. You can find a, or no, I think yeah, I think he just randomly starts to tell you. He starts laughing, trying to explain to a time where someone tried to kill him with a spoon. Oh yeah, yeah. And it starts off really funny. Like he's tr- he's having trouble telling you the story because he's laughing so much, 
and then it kind of gets a bit grittier as it goes along where he then goes on to he steals the spoon off the guy and starts gouging out his eyes yeah. and if that's not enough he throws in at the end while his wife and kid of the guy he was doing it to were sitting there crying it's 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 quite brutal some of it but mm. it's done in a way that you don't feel you don't feel it's too dark going through because no. it's still quite light-hearted i mean i know that there's a you know it's, it's comic booky it's yeah it's comic book grit mm. and i like it i like the style um, yes, I like the character. I like the, the they made an effort with the story this time because it was pretty much just the loot in the first one, which was also a negative. The, the big negative I have for the game is that I don't think that they did the characters justice. I don't think that they, I mean the builds, the the skills and stuff. I don't think. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too amazed with my chosen class of assassin either. I I basically never use its special ability anymore because I've got no need to. I use mine and it's helpful, you, but you it's do. just not like. It, just the one the one special ability none of the rest of the team yeah. ever really seems to feel like it makes that much of a dent because it's all tiny percent increases yeah, exactly. to damage or reload speed and stuff you don't see so you don't feel like you're getting stronger other than the gear you find but it's, so not yeah. even, it's not even that it's that they didn't they didn't decide to go well we'll make a whole new set of classes they just made the old ones again with tweaks but with yeah. tweaks yeah with tweaks but so that's the only that's yeah that's, a, bit, a bit better character creation would be nice more active abilities yeah or yeah. stuff that does really ridiculous things would be nice as well over the top they should have gone the saints row 3 route yeah in borderlands that'd probably work in saints row 3 it didn't but yeah it might in borderlands so there you go so on to the dlc for it which we've played well yeah not finished yet, so well, I, don't know just... how, <laughs> I don't know how far into it we are i mean we've only done a few of the main missions and a few of the side missions i've got a feeling we're probably 20 three percent through <laughs> have you cheated and looked at some kind of progress bar that i don't know about no i'm, <laughs> just, that... I'm just making it up oh okay oh, that's, right. that's, that's what, what we, we do, do here yeah. we, we make we make up facts we make up facts and check them later we should have like hurtypedia where it's like no that sounds like something far worse than what we would use <laughs> oh, it for <laughs> that's a good point that's a good point yeah uh. Yeah, so the, yeah, it's pirate themed. About as pirates in the desert rather and, than pirates at sea. And pirates are brilliant. Let me just put that on record right there. Yeah, although they're all just reskinned enemies of the bandits, pretty much. Yeah, but they're pirates. Yeah, I guess. What was the name of that movie again that the the main quest giver is based on again? Oh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, he's quite amusing because he, he's got a horrible <laughs> face. He has a horrible, scary face, um, and everyone else in the town where he lives has died of dehydration. So he's got their corpses hooked up like marionettes and speaks role plays through speakers stuck into their faces. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. It is uh-huh. pretty crazy. But it's exactly what, like, jumping into the DLC is exactly what you had expected from Gearbox. Having played through, you know, the main storyline, you, you knew that the DLC was going to be wacky. And it yeah. is. Yeah. And I like it. Oh, and it, hopefully it, not the 50% success rate that the first one had. Yeah, well, I hope that... It is missing the touch of having Handsome Jack constantly harass you, though. That's the only thing it's missing. The, yeah, that's true. But the, that's because, yeah, well, spoilers. Well, no, it wasn't really spoilers. Because DLC is separate to the main story. But now you've made it spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you! No, I, 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 I'm, I'm pleased. It was good. I'm glad I bought it, and I'm hopeful that there will be uh, uh, another sequel. Oh, as in a Borderlands three? Yeah, there's still three more DLC to come. You might want to wait and see what those are like first. They they they, they can't be bad enough to put me off the game entirely. You never played Moxie's Underdome, did you? But that didn't put you off buying Borderlands two, did it? it put me off buying DLC. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. <sighs> DLC's and uh, Claptrap's Robot Rebellion, that was bloody terrible as well, but a different company handled that one, so that was why. I hope. Next game on your list... Next game on my list. On our list, I should say. On our list, XCOM Enemy Unknown. Yes, whereas you've only played the demo of it, I've actually been playing the full thing. Yeah, so what, what were your demo impressions? I enjoyed it. Now, CR actually gifted me the original X- XCOM. 
A long, uh, long, long time ago. For, I, I, I don't even want to try and guess. It must have been like more than a year ago, and I only got around to activating it fairly recently. And one of the and problems there was because of like screen resolutions and blah, blah, blah. And I got a workaround for it, and it's well, it's, it's old. It's very <laughs> old. Um, it's the very reason I never went back to it, despite knowing that it's one of those games people talk about being really good from yesterday. Yesteryear, not yesterday. <laughs> so I didn't really... I didn't really get it. I didn't really get into it. And I just kind of pushed it to one side and kind of abandoned it. In the pile of no hope with Amnesia Dark Descent, (laughs) Shogun, (laughs) Brink, that kind of thing. Yeah, well, Shogun's only there until I have a monitor and stuff set up. So um, probably about, well, five weeks from now is my move-in date for my new house. We'll probably still be playing Assassin's Creed 3 by then. But the point is is that uh, I will then have space to have a monitor and stuff. So, mm-hmm. um, Yeah, that, that I, I wasn't sure what to expect then when I picked up the demo for XCOM. And it's fun. It's exactly the sort of thing that I enjoy. It's, it's, it plays like all those old rogue, roguelikes that Turn-based stuff. Yeah, turn-based fun. And... But it also has the kind of world management on the side where you're training up your troops, researching the aliens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we should say XCOM is about aliens versus humans. <laughs> aliens invading. We just people assumed to, everybody knew. People go to insurgent sort of sites and stuff and go and kill you things. You stop alien abductions, you shoot down UFOs, and then go to the crash sites to loot their equipment and murder their families. And you Good wholesome class, ham- family yeah, it's fun. A, it's a constant battle of reverse engineering the alien technology to get as good as them, and then they'll go a step forward, so you have to try and catch up. So, yeah, and then um, there's character classes, and you can get the ability to have psychic powers as well. So I, don't know probably, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. I don't think so. You probably should warn people that it's probably not for everybody's taste. Um, well, it's quite difficult for us at the start as well. It's quite punishing on you until you start getting upgrades. It's, I mean, like, turn-based games in particular are very niche, if you know what I mean. Mm. Not, not many people are quite fond of that. Um, obviously, coming from the background of having played, like, tabletop games and things, and you know, gaming from, oh God, last 18, 19, 20 odd years. No, it must be 20 odd years now. Um, you 60 odd years now. 60 odd years now. That's what I'll be saying in the future. It'll be like episode mm. 6042. Back future. in my day, when we played Assassin's Creed, we didn't have 3D iPads. We didn't have with... game pads directly inserted into your own spine. <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah, no, and the funniest thing is when when there is like spinal computer consoles, Nintendo will still have pads. <laughs> like, Nintendo, <laughs> what are you doing? The, the it'll be the, their development will have you'll have two of these um, like paddling pools full of water. You have to stand like one foot in one and one foot in the other. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going with any more of this, but that's that's how I. That envisage. sounds like a console waiting to happen. <laughs> it sounds pretty wet. Fisher Price. Anyway, so, XCOM. XCOM. I'm still talking about XCOM. XCOM. Uh, things I like about it, gameplay. I like that the stages you're thrown into with your elite team is destroyable. So if <laughs> someone can cover, even if you miss, you might still take out the cover they're hiding behind, giving your other guys a better shot at them. Uh. I, I quite like that it's very punishing, even with upgrades and whatnot. If it's, there's a very high chance your characters will die, and if they if they die, they're gone. They're, they're splattered. That's it. They're, that's it. they're dead. There's no, no yeah, comebacks. Dead, dead. No comebacks. No do overs. So it makes you care about your team, especially when you've been having the same team for quite a few missions. Not you don't really want anything right. to happen to them. Although, in one of the first missions, when I didn't have much equipment, an alien shot at one of my guys. He, I made him panic. And if a, a character panics, you lose control of them for a turn. So the AI takes over and does something like he might just run or he might shoot one of your own guys because he's just firing in a blind panic. (laughs) It made my guy run next to a car which was already damaged which then promptly exploded and killed him. (laughs) And that was... I think that that was my first experience of a team member member just dying outright and he died not from an alien, he died from an exploding car. So the life lesson there is don't panic. Stay calm. The the soldiers like having their will broken and panicking is much less of an issue the further you get in because they get battle experience and yeah. better equipment. It gives they get them all boosts. Hardened. They get hard. <laughs> Even the women. Oh. Especially the women. <laughs> I wonder if Viagra would have that. No, nope, no, nope, move on, move on. Yes, move on, move on. I'm, it's still ongoing. I haven't finished it yet. I think I might be near the end now. I've got like 
my fighter jets for shooting down UFOs are basically UFOs themselves now, and I'm taking down overseer class UFOs. So I think that must mean I'm nearing the end. It's available on consoles as well, not just PC. Don't we're, think we even said it was on PC. No, we're it's, on PC. It's, on PC. it's on PC. It's on PC. But there's no... He, he said there's, there's a demo. Yeah, so. there's a demo of it on Steam. Um, it's single player. And there is a versus... There yeah, is a versus, versus mode. Power power. But there is not a co-op yet. No, which if a co-op gets added, it will become one of the best games out this year for sure. Because it really would do well with it. So there you are. That's I'm I'm hoping for that. I'm hoping for like you know when things mm. quieten down a bit, where I don't have a billion and one other games and you know projects and all that sort of stuff that they release yeah, it either maybe with that. DLC with co-op or something. I suspect they might have DLC held back. That's and the only negative. Then but, I will jump in on that bandwagon. Yeah. The exclusion of co-op is pretty much the only problem I have with it, other than the percentage chance that you're told a shot will have being about twenty percent less than what it claims. Because no way I should miss seventy percent three times in a row, for example. Well, that, yeah, that you can. It happens. Roll a dice. See what happens. How would you check seventy percent on a dice? No, but I'm saying the the a die, probability, right. chance, yeah. luck. What's the odds of you rolling three ones in a row? Slim, but it can happen. Slimmer than not hitting with a seventy percent chance three times in a row. And I'm I'm not talking about one isolated instant. I mean overall percentage chances feel like they're you're told they're higher than they actually are right right that's my point especially if you put them on overwatch where that means you've forgotten a turn of shooting so that if an alien moves within your sight range you take a free shot at them while they're doing their movement daka, 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 daka. so they're not in cover so you would think it's even easier to shoot them but no it's it, you get a penalty to your aim which is silly yes which is silly to me it's silly so, so next on your list that's all... Well, no, it's not. I'll, I'll add in the, the, the last little bit. This is the thing that you haven't played yet. Oh, yeah, I've realised what it is. Planet Side 2, It's Planet Side it? 2, which is out on the 20th of November. I've been playing the beta. Um, a I little bit. I haven't played a lot of it because of other things. And um, I don't know if, you know, we played the first Planet Side way back in we 2001, did, maybe? Was it 2001? Oh, it was a long time ago. Um and it was enjoyable. Back before we had decent internet connections, that's for sure. Well, back before some of us had comparatively worse than we currently I do, have. <laughs> I don't even think <laughs> I had. I don't even think I had broadband at that point. Um, mm. It made it very difficult to play. Um, picking this up, it does, didn't feel like there was any lag. This was in you know in a beta that didn't feel mm. like there was in a quite full server, isn't it? As yeah. Well? Oh, I mean, I I went in and I was like, oh shit, tons of people sort of starting spawn zone thing. Um, Planet Side, uh, for anyone not familiar, is like I'm sure, take, 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 yeah, yeah. Take Battlefield Three and then multiply it into like a, an entire planet that's just like three factions mm. constantly fighting it out for control over certain areas and stuff. And I, I went in and I kind of remembered back to how how you could get straight into the action from the the original. And I did that. I sort of dropped in a big drop pod thing that landed me into this big firefight that was going and on. You got and promptly there was, shot. There was no, no straight away, but there was you know jets flying overhead, with people you know dog fighting in the air and cannons firing all over the place, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm in a bloody." <laughs> I, was, I was I was actually kind of you know awestruck. Do you think? The... Do you think real life soldiers just have those moments when they're under fire? We just go, "Fuck, I'm in a war." <laughs> I think I, I am think, in a war. <laughs> I think they probably get like that trained out of them. Um, all right, I think, okay. Uh, I yeah, it, it or really in America it gets changed to fuck yeah, I'm in a war. <laughs> fuck yeah, let's shoot my friends. I mean, <laughs> no, it really was. You mean quite, the British? <laughs> it really was quite um, awesome in the true sense awesome. of the word. In the true, it, there was like so much going on that I thought like. Shit, you know, the, the, what am I? <laughs> fuck, I'm well, in a war. Fuck, I'm in a war. Shit, there's tons <laughs> of stuff going on. I just couldn't. There was <sighs> at first, it was like I was being bombarded with like not too much information, just too much, <laughs> too much distraction. There was like stuff going on, but then as you because acclimatize you yourself to being in that war, it's mm. you know you start thinking, right, okay, I'm playing as a sniper. I'll go and find this little corner here. The guys are over there. I'm trying to shoot. You know, now I'm going to jump into a tank and. Flying some of the planes and stuff is hilarious because when you first get in and you're trying to remember, <laughs> yeah, and you just you, you you take off and promptly crash into a cliff straight in front of you. It's uh, 
it's fun. Uh, I think it will be a lot of fun. Uh, so what it's, you're saying is we should probably play that after this rather than Borderlands. I think that might be a good idea. Assuming the server isn't full, because there's only one better server for the EU. There's two, but one of them oh, is normally, normally down. One of them ah. was always down every time I tried. The last time that we played Planetside, we had um, a, a bigger community of people. Um, and it was before we were even you know, Skyping or, or using any other you know, VOIP stuff. Um, so things were a little bit difficult. But these days, I think that uh, that might make things very interesting. Well, with Skype and whatnot, it would be easier, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, you're not calling this podcast Fuck, We're in a War. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I don't think that applies to the iTunes terms and conditions. I can put asterisks in. It's fine. That's true. Maybe. So yeah, I'm I'm hopeful for it. Um, the graphics aren't you know horrendous. That I would yeah, say I got that, as, I got as far as the character select and the graphics there were no horrible. the gra- that that was a very sort of big turn off point for me at first. Looking mm. at that character select screen, it looked so bad. It, it did look pretty bad. But then when you actually get into it, the graphics aren't that far off from playing. I mean, mm. like I'm not going to say Battlefield Three graphics, but they weren't too far off from that. I was going to say, have you even played Battlefield 3? But yes, you have. I remember you doing a video of it in fact. Yes, I did. So, it'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of mayhem. It's out on the 20th of November. I will be back from the Canaries <laughs> then. I will be here. Yeah, and what about... Well, I, are you interested in Halo 4? That's out on the 4th of November or something like that. Um, and then isn't Black Ops 2 out in November as well? Yes, you said yes, you wanted that. Yes, I know there's an awful lot of things out there, and I'm not around... Like uh, this, November's going to be very hectic. But you don't need to get Black Ops too. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what. <laughs> don't I need to get think. Halo Four. Just replay Halo One. <laughs> Halo Four has been kind of off my radar. Me as well, but on purpose. Yeah, I've fallen out with the franchise a bit. I suppose. Did yeah. you want to talk about Halo Four? This is still uh, like playing, by the way. Yeah, no, I know that, and no, I don't really want to talk about Halo Four. I'm not particularly interested in it. I'll have a little look. If you if you uh, want to hear about reviews. Halo Four, go listen to another podcast then, because don't send them elsewhere. <laughs> we might talk about it. Come back with brains. Yes, we need brains. So, Tasty brains. have you been playing anything that wasn't on that list? I was, and I kind of segued into it with my lust for eating brains, because it was the penultimate episode of The Walking Dead. Ah, uh, yes. I did that by accident, also. Uh, in episode four out of five, so, uh, I didn't enjoy it as much as episode three. Episode three was very good. Episode four, mm, it was okay. It was good. Still had some good choices to make in it. After episode three, my editor and I were discussing it for, he was doing the review of that one, and we, he kind of made some guesses about what might happen, and unfortunately he was spot on. Huh. And I did kind of think the same things myself, so it went a bit too predictable. Oh, okay. Because like, it's like, if you have a setting where the bad stuff always happens, and you know it's going to happen because that's the theme of it. The theme yeah, is, yeah, yeah. worse and worse shit happens, then you can guess what the worst shit is going to be. So you see it coming. I and suppose, yeah. If you if you you prepare yourself for the worst, you just think, well... Yeah, and you know that it's probably going to happen because that's what The Walking Dead is. It's bad things happening to people. <laughs> Constantly. Constantly. Uh, watching, so, having watched, like, you know, nearly the two seasons of it so far, um, it is just, like, they just keep piling on more and more bad shit. <laughs> and it's like, right, okay, we've just got over that hurdle. Everything's fine. Right now, bad shit happens. You've again. climbed that hill. Now here's a mountain. Yeah, that's the the general theme. So, if, With the yeti unfortunately, the if you if you think about it too much, you'll see what's coming a mile off. So the last episode is going to be predict- predictable, pretty much. Also, don't like what I. Th- this is a guess. What I assume is the random appearance of like a, a baddie, a non zombie bad guy. A baddie. I, they didn't need that at all. No. Oh. And that's I it might not be where it's going, but it certainly seems like it. So I no, I don't like the the idea of just a random guy being bad. So are there a lot of characters from the show in it or no. like I've only played I've only still only played the first just chapter don't... of it. <laughs> no, the first episode was the only one that had Glenn and Herschel yeah. in it. That was it. 
and that, that, I think that was just to draw people in that only knew it from the TV show. Let's see, let's see. So no, no one else in it. Uh, still looking forward to it though, just to just to see it from start to end. This one actually ended with quite an interesting thing because I guess once you make your final decisions of that episode, I like leaves with a cliffhanger of you going to go do something. It then shows. It I'm going to go you, do something. It's well, I assume you don't want me to be specific, so uh, that's why I'm being vague. Um, all the other episodes ended with like it showed what you picked for all the big choices and then how that compared to everyone else who'd played it so far. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it did that, but then it also did one showing who was there with you for the last episode and it showed all the various other options. So I, I, yeah. it just it goes to show that although in repeat playthroughs showed that it didn't really matter what you picked, things were still going to happen regardless, you could still influence who was there with you in the end, right from it being no one to being up to five people. Oh. Huh. So and every mixture of those in between, so it does it does go to show that how you acted technically made a difference depending on how having so, those people there for the last episode. Not what? like Mass Effect then. No, not like Mass Effect. No, no, this had a proper story. <laughs> Shepard. Yeah. Speaking of which, there's going to be a Mass Effect four. Apparently, well, it's not going to be called Mass Effect four because it's not going to be about Shepard. But there isn't going to be more Mass Effect games because they make money, so they'll hear it. They'll milk it and milk That's it. That's how milk it. shit works. That's how shit works. It's all about the money. I'm surprised they have the balls after how many people were pissed off by three. But there you oh, go. they made enough money off it. They didn't matter. And that's because everyone had to buy it first. Now they'll be cautious. Hopefully, they'll just they'll just they'll, disappoint me, people. They'll, they'll just hold they'll, they'll hold the, the 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 ending for it back as DLC. Like actually, like it will just stop prior well, to Cap- what is going to be. Capcom's already done that with um, Ashura's yeah. Wrath. That had a Stupid. secret DLC proper ending. Stupid. They actually called it the proper ending. I remember stupid. moaning about it on here. Stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> to move away from what we've been playing, I could link to Battlefield 3 with something. Go right ahead. You're familiar with the Back to Karkand map, aren't you? Yes, it was one of my favorites. Because it was in Battlefield 2. Yeah. yeah, it was also one that I liked. So you're, are you aware it came out for 3? Yes. Are you aware that it had kind of different lighting different i'm using different i kit. know where you're going to go with this but carry on yes i i am oh aware. you do okay well you play the part of the audience and pretend not to be fully aware okay i'll play the patsy the chump the okay chump. well the chump as I've, people, I've, bought, I've bought a nintendo ds i'm the chump it looked very pale and horrible and just dull so modders decided to make a new brighter pack for it. just to just to change the lighting not change the stage in any way just change just the spice lighting it up a little bit to make it look like it was alive rather than dead right and they decided to ban everyone who was using the mod that did that <laughs> <sighs> because i assume i assume the board mate went something like i don't think the internet hates us enough yet let's find something else to make them really hate us I, I, to be fair right i don't know whether or not it's too difficult for them to distinguish if somebody's messing around with the code on their end that you could end up having hacks and stuff like that. I'm not saying that everybody had the intention of doing that. How could changing the lighting be misconstrued as like an aimbot? I don't I'm, think that's I'm possible. Because I'm talking about having the coding changed on your end. The servers are going, hmm, your version of the game doesn't match our version of the your game. Your version of this level is more attractive than our die! <laughs> <laughs> die, 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 die! Yes. That's the I, I, I get it, I get it, and I think it's stupid, but I, I do kind of get it in a way. Why don't they bring out their own version then if they know people want it? That's what they should do. That would be the appropriate response. They go, right, if you want this, we'll, we'll release it nice and shiny and bright. And we'll charge for it. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> don't be stupid. It's not free. Uh, talking about EA. Come on. Speaking speaking of talking about EA and Capcom, this is technically our Halloween special as well, so it's is it? probably just a well. We're not going to have another one before Halloween. It's going to be a couple of days after, oh. unless we do a belated one, of course. Mm. So it's only right that we should be talking about devils and demons like Capcom and EA. Bears are also demons. Bears are demons. Yeah, possessed. That's pretty much all I had on that. I just found that's it all I had to say about that. I like bringing atrocities to people's attention. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take that out of context. I mean, only within gaming. You're a bad man. 
gaming. You're a bad man. Uh, uh, you can pick something now. Um, okay. From this list you apparently have. Staggered release dates. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you want to piss people off now, do you? Oh, yeah. I, oh, I love it too. Why the, the Walking Dead is an example of that. Why the fuck do they even exist anymore? Because people are willing to pay more for the exclusive. But, I, I mean, it used to be, right... That something would come out first in, say, Japan. Oh, you, oh right. You mean regional? Yes. I, just, I, I mean, thought you meant platform. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't care about that. Oh. Uh, I mean region. Especially when it's coming from America to here. Because there are cases where they actually do, like, an entire re-voiceover. Yes, that's because we're still classified as part of Europe, even though we're technically part of America. You might, We might as well be. <laughs> But because we are, we also have to wait for all the translated versions for the rest of Europe. That's why it takes so long. But it's stupid. Yeah. The, the, but it, well, no, no, I should point out that's why it used to take so long. No, why it don't they just wait until they've done all the translations, then release it all over the world all at once? Well, because they, they don't need to anymore. Or no, they do kind of. They get it done much quicker now. And the yeah, only reason there's just... a space between releases now, for the most part, ignoring like really weird ones like Anarchy Reigns, it's the Tuesday in America because that's just the day they get new games. And it's the Friday for us because that's just the day we get new games because they don't we, want anyone skiving. Why don't we just change? But I just change. said why. We get new releases on the Friday because yeah. they don't want anyone skiving. But, but just let people skive. Well, yeah, I'd be, when there's you, a worldwide really release saying stuff, that there's like a, are you saying that there's such a massive case of skivitis every time that yeah. it comes out? That's the reason why we get new games on a Friday. Seriously. <laughs> Although, sure. when there's a worldwide... So, wait, 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 wait. So, you're, so you're so, yeah. saying that people are taking time off of work and time off of school and stuff to go and play games so that games are contributing to kids being idiots? Yeah. Because they're not at school learning. Nah, you learn shit at school. That's true, you do. I can't really Especially think... pre-college years. I mean, that's you don't use any of that shit. Well, well All you need is, like, your nursery school so you know how to count and write then you skip the middle bit and go to college. It depends on the type of job you're doing. My job does require a little bit more education than that. No, you just need to know how to count. No, 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 no. And lie. No, that was my last job. <laughs> and your current job. And my current job. I am, a, I am an expert liar. Your, your current job basically has you just like lying to people on a daily basis. Just like to their face. Yeah. And and watching them accept it, then pay for things. Yeah. I'm a bastard. I'm employed to be a bastard. <sighs> I used to do debt collection over the phone, so <laughs> I've done a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many of those times people, did had, you I had put the cry. receiver in I had, I had people cry. Is that because you put the receiver next to your rear end? Then had it do the talking for you. Oh, it could have been worse. They could have been in the same room as me. True. You've totally derailed what I was talking about now, and I can't remember what we were talking about. The you derailed context. me from staggered release dates. I didn't derail you. You derailed me. I remember, yeah, we were talking about World Wide releases still happening on a Tuesday every so often, so it's not like they have to be out on the Friday. It just seems to be the accepted way things happen. It just oh, it just seems to be stupid. Is four days really that bad a wait? Uh, no, but I just think it's silly. <laughs> it's just a, it, it's one of those things that just annoys me because it does oh like poor people <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I am one of them and it annoys me <laughs> see <laughs> that makes me so angry <sighs> concludes our in-depth conversation about staggered release dates yeah 
What would you like to Can talk it, about now? Uh, I've, I've, for some reason, my brain's honing in on, like you said, derailed a little bit back there. And I forget that we hadn't actually pointed out the whole train issue in Resident Evil Well, I was, I was saving that saving for that. our proper discussion. Oh, okay, right. So that, that, that's a little taster for people to come. That didn't make sense. Taster, no, it didn't. Come. No, that's why, I, that's why I was silent there. Taster, I was come. Feel, feel, feel come, taster people. Taster people, feel it come. Sounds like you're saying something rude, but I don't think you are, so be quiet. <laughs> That slip right by the sensors. Yeah, before we jump into a new topic, let's do... You said there was an email from Noodles, I believe. So he hasn't abandoned us. No, he hasn't abandoned us. Your brother also posted a comment on our Facebook page. He did, and first. I know... Yeah, you do that first, because I know the answer to it. Question. It's 1971. A Swedish man crashes into a tree. No signs of poison or wounds to the driver. Why did he crash? Because he hit a tree? No, no. Why did he crash? Because he hit a tree. What caused the crash? His car hitting a tree? <laughs> no, that is the crash. What? what... <laughs> okay, I, know, so... I know what this is from, but I haven't seen it. But I know what it's from. So It's, it's, from, not... it's from the new series of Red Dwarf. Oh. Well, it's, I would explain why it, it makes sense. It's a point on lateral thinking. The answer is a moose. Why? We swerve to avoid the moose when hit the tree. I don't why? know. I, why not? Because that makes no sense. That's not lateral thinking. What, you wanted moose soup? You wanted moose on the front of the car? No. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not what lateral thinking you is. Moose on the car. That's what it is. Like, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's, it's really annoying me now because if it was lateral <laughs> thinking, why would they check the man for poison? The, 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 also, also, why would they have no wounds? He just hit a fucking tree. <laughs> You'd be a terrible, terrible <laughs> investigator. <laughs> he's got no, he's covered in wounds. The tree killed him. <laughs> that fucking tree, chop that tree down. Put him in court. <sighs> so yes, that that was interesting. Um, no, it was not interesting. It made no sense. <laughs> so, first real email then from Noodles McMuffin. He's back. It's entitled hey. "Origin Fuckups and Scottish." Oh wait, 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 wait! I have breaking news. Breaking as of an hour ago. Breaking is in like you've got wind. Uh, Anarchy Reigns is out in January 2013. That's the Western launch date for those of you who haven't already played it through having imported the fully English version that I played. Okay, I know you're saying Noodles' is email. Yes. It, I think it actually is supposed to say Origin Fuck Ups and Scottish Independence, but he's actually called it Origin Fuck Ups and Scottish Independence. That's what we call our underpants. Ah. Uh. So, here we go. A bit of an odd subject line, but oh well. We'll get the video game stuff out of the way first. Just wanted to tell you about the horrendous screw-up by Origin. They released a code which essentially meant that anyone could get any game on Origin. I myself would never take part in such an immoral activity. But if I did, (laughs) I'd bag myself Battlefield Bad Company 2 and Burnout Paradise, the ultimate box. Some are speculating that it was put out by Origin in order to show its stockholders how well they are doing. Remember, Origin was... Uh, um, oh, um, so it wasn't an accident, is what he means. Um, not doing so well, let's say. Mm. Um, yeah, but it's not. For example, look at the massive increase in Origin subscriptions. Is this just silly? Or do you think there could be any truth in it? I, uh, well, come on, it's, it's Origin, cor- right? This kind of shit does go on in corporate. I'm not saying they're doing it. I'm just saying it's very likely that they did it. We'll take into account the whole thing with the the bankers messing and mucking around with um, interest rates and so on. Exactly. So, so yeah, yeah, that kind of makes sense. I think maybe maybe somebody did coerce someone into accidentally wink, wink. Oh, how how long did it take them to resolve the accidental leak of this code anyway? Because I don't, I don't know. He doesn't say. I didn't look into it because I tried not to read the emails it, like too in depth before. It would be a very cunning plan because then they they would just have this. Well, we've lost this many million technically by losing this many digital games, but they've had so many new subscribers. They've technically, what's that called? The cost of getting a customer is important to a company. Like yeah. how much they have to spend on advertising or whatever to gain a customer. That's true. That's Doing true. this, they've done it for free, which is a very good price to get a new customer at. But uh, it's very hard to hold on to customers as well. Cost of acquisition. That's the word. That's the one. Yes, that's the term. 
So yeah, their cost of acquisition on this ter- thing would be nothing. It could so be, that'd be a very good thing. But surely, what would have been a better way would have been just to advertise. Look, we'll give you some free games just for a limited time only, and then they would have got even more people rather than just doing it this way. But then their shareholders would see that's how they got. Them. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know. Well, no, it's a, that's tricky. It's, it's a, a tricky, tricky one. one. We're not sure. We'll come back to you. No, we won't, because if we say anything definitively, we'll get sued. So here, we would go on to the next part of the, the email, which is something uh, topical and political. So, you know, <laughs> oh, gird your loins. Is it still... Well, how long ago did you get this email? Is it, I mean, is it still relevant? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. I only got the oh. email um, two days ago. Um, it goes on with, also, Scottish independence. Whose side are you on and why? What do you think of the fact that 16 to 17 year olds are also allowed to vote in this, but not in general elections? Could this be some fiddling by the Conservatives in order to help them out in the next election, as younger people tend to vote Labour, or do you simply not care? I don't care. Um, also, I, I find it funny that you accuse them of technically being kiddie fiddlers. <laughs> they, f- <laughs> they fiddled the vote so 15 year olds could vote. <laughs> That's topical, Jimmy Savile. <clears throat> no, that's not topical. That's just boring. Um, to be honest, um, I, I think our our general agreement in this household is that if there is Scottish independence, we will be moving back to England. <laughs> because Scotland will fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just all start firebombing each other and <laughs> Glasgow will get a wall around it. We'll just go back to the... Back to the way things used to be. We get independent. Look, look at this way: if you get independent, you'll get you'll end up being like Ireland. You don't want to be like Ireland, do you? No, not really. No, exactly. You won't get to keep the pound. You'll have to make up some funny money, like the Irish did. <laughs> and look what happened to them. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, no. racism isn't okay, even if you apologise afterwards. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't. I don't think it will work, and I'm kind of against it, etc. I don't care, but nothing will change even if it does happen. So thank you very much, Noodles, for your email. Right, on to the next email, which is from, I think this is Kwiku. Uh, forgive me if I don't pronounce that correctly. K-W-E-K-U? Kwiku? Kwiku? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> he, I assume it's a he, um, the odds of it being a woman are probably rather small for us, um, starts off with, will you guys be doing walkthroughs for all of the Resident Evil 6 storylines? And P.S. Today is my birthday. Can I get a birthday shout out for Kwiku? Or Kwiku? No. No. <laughs> now, apparently, he tried to send this to me on the 12th. On, on the 12th of October. On the 12th? Yeah, well, but, we, I, but I, we, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't get it then. We missed his birthday then. Good job. Yeah, I, did, I honestly didn't get it. I, I oh. seriously did not get that email. That was ages ago. Now he's going to hate us and never hear us anyway. So, well, the, well, what he did, he actually forwarded it on. <laughs> Oh. Just, just, just double check did he get the email address right brain go at gmail.com he did maybe he didn't send send it maybe he stored it I don't know it's well sent, either way we've got it now it's sent from AT&T wireless using mobile email so that's probably why oh yeah yeah that'll do that so then he forwarded that on with um, the rest of the message well hang on happy birthday happy birthday a, a week and a bit ago um Oops. I, yeah, yeah, I didn't get the email, honest, honestly. I, I got it now that it's been forwarded with the rest of it. He's lying. He was drunk. <laughs> so, the real email, the rest of it goes, Dear Flick and Blakey, you guys are two wise bastards. <laughs> you two should consider making a conversation slash advice channel or add a new segment to your channel. You should call it Flick and Blakey Talk. But here's the twist. Do your segment drunk. Have your fans <laughs> send in questions and you answer them. But if you're not sure if you want to do it, Ask your fans if they would like and advise on your channel. Sincerely yours, Big Butt Lover. Charming. <laughs> I try and get you drunk all the time for the podcast. The podcast, I, since I upload the podcast to my YouTube, that's pretty much doing what he's suggesting, isn't it? it more or less. But um, I, it's almost like he's, it sounds to me like he's trying to talk about us doing what we're planning to do already. Oh, like the Resident Evil thing we're going to be doing we, to do the little sort of talky segmenty thing, as opposed to mm-hmm. as opposed to either the podcast where we're just sitting talking or the gaming stuff, which is with us ram- rambling on, but mostly mm-hmm. playing the game. I think he wants us to take like one topic and just home in on it, and just that'll never happen. We'll pick a topic and we'll end up <laughs> talking about fucking topiary or butt plugs or something. 
That's how we, things work. Well, That's how gonna, we roll. That is how we roll. We will. We are going to try that kind of focused approach, and it's not just going to be like a still image in the background. I'll have gameplay in the background, yes. to, so it's not boring. Um, also, didn't he ask in the first one that go forward did, if we're doing all the Resident Evil storylines? He did. Yes. The answer to that is other than the Ada one. Yeah, because Ada one is single player. We did mention that at the start of the, yeah, the so. podcast. So. So thank you very much, Kweku, or Kweku, or I'm not sure quite how to pronounce it, so I'm sorry if we got that wrong. But uh, Write in again and tell us. Yeah, thank you for the email, and uh, apologize for not getting the first one in time to do a birthday shout-out. But we didn't do the podcast then anyway. Yeah, that's true. We, we had but, to... but had we had this email before, yeah, we it, and we'd done the podcast when we should have done it, it would have been in time. So, yeah, yeah. our bad, our bad. His bad. We weren't doing the podcast. <laughs> so that's that's all the emails, I think. I believe, unless you I have anything so. stored. Uh, let me just double check on Facebook to see if your brother was the only one. Do, 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 nope, do. that was the only one. I'm afraid. His annoying lateral thinking one. So if you fancy getting in touch with us, you can catch us by email, bringoharty at gmail dot com. There or is, with Big Net. Or Big Net. There's Facebook, facebook.com slash Uh There's a Steam community, which is Bringo uh, <laughs> I'm sending a theme. There is there is a theme. I can't quite put my finger on it. Just Google Bringo Hurty and you'll find us. Does that work? We've tried that before, haven't we? So I don't need to check it now even though I'm going to anyway. Let's let's put that to the test. Bring it does. It finds the podcast. It's okay. the very first link. The very first link is the podcast. Mm. And then the next link down is the old podcast. No, on mine it's the blog spot you abandoned. Mm, my one's the Jellycast link. Then it's, oh, my Jellycast is third for me. Blog spot, then it's a YouTube link for Finding Fault. Yep. Hey. Anyway, let's, yeah. Do you have any other random miscellaneous stuff? There was um, a little news piece that came out about um, Sony possibly putting in development uh, different feedback controllers. Um, and it was... Did you two talk about this last time? No, 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 no. It was where we, I was going to talk about this. I talked to you uh, about this. Oh, so is that why I'm getting confused? You we yes. weren't recording at the time. You were just mentioning it. I was right. mentioning it. Controllers that basically the, the temperature can change. They can get warmer or colder and so on. And mm-hmm. the, the obvious things that were coming out, people saying, well, these things are going to explode in some kid's hand and turn him into... a a YouTube sensation. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> International superstar. Um, oh. But apparently, it was um, it was debunked by Sony. They basically said, "No, no, no, no." It's, it's... We have no desire to have children explode for the benefit of the internet. I mean, I'm sure they worded it differently, but that's the subtext. But but it got me thinking about like the use of other like, feedback devices and stuff. I mean, we've we've been used oh, to dear. controllers of like of all varieties, really vibrating since the ps1 i mean you can you talk about moxie's gun no but that's a good point actually there are some very interesting things in um borderlands including the sex toy gun and one of the guns that you get from one of the sort of slotty people in it um vibrates (laughs) as you like if you like zoom in on it it vibrates and it only stops vibrating when you shoot your load (laughs) and then it eventually has different vibration settings picks up vibration settings again yeah but it yeah it's like thinking about like what other things could they possibly start, start doing? You know, you're talking about like people getting what shock feedback from getting hit from things. It, and it's you know, I was thinking about that um, gadget show thing where they had the yeah yeah things, you always go on about that with paintballs and stuff like that. And it's just, I think you just get off on pain and you want to be tasered. <laughs> That's what I think. Do you want a taser <laughs> for your birthday? I, I wouldn't mind a taser for my birthday. <laughs> But I mean one being used upon you, not being so, given to you, because that would not be a good idea. My birthday actually falls next month, so anybody that fancies giving me a present, you know, that would be great. For every person that buys you a copy of the original XCOM, I will give them a present. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> don't, don't do that. Uh, no, unfortunately that wouldn't work, because you can't gift someone a game they already have. Uh, oh, that's all right. Damn. That's fine. That's fine. Um... So, do you, have you ever dwelled on a different sort of feedback controller? Have you ever thought about controllers in general, um, like actually evolving or changing? I mean, I know that we had um, the Wii 
and now you've got the Wii U where they're trying to do something sort of different. But I meant seriously different. Quirky. Like seriously I, different. I can it, still remember the very first time I played a game that had used the vibration function of the PS1 pad. The first some one I fighting used, demo. The first one I used was um, Toka, which was uh, one of the touring car games. I think it was Toka mm-hmm. 2, actually. And I remember being amazed that the controller was vibrating. <laughs> so pathetic when you think I, about it now I, compared to I, I, innovation. I, I can actually remember showing my mum and you know, it seems so wrong now, but yeah. Look, mummy, this vibrates when I press. <laughs> How do you turn that on again? <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. <sighs> I can't... Okay, you asked me a question. Yes, okay, yeah. I remember now. You... Uh. I was trying to erase that conversation from my mind and then I realised you asked me something. I think controllers are fine as they are. They don't need any new innovations. I don't need shocked in the balls every time I kill someone. I, I don't necessarily mean you need to be, like, tasered up the ass each time, but I was thinking, like, remember, like, Nintendo tried that glove? Like, uh, the power glove. Oh, the power glove. I was wondering, like, you know, imagine if you had, like, um, essentially, like, two, not gauntlets or whatever, but do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, something different. Of course, like, I think we have the most practical method of controlling a game now, and anything else is just something that isn't going to work. I think that you might be right. I think they they've kind of honed in on what works. Yeah, what's the most the, effective? The last best innovation was making controllers wireless. Yes, and that was enough. On the subject of well, they, oh, well, well, actually, oh, now that I think about it, I don't know whether this would be a good or a bad thing. But what about if they were like, you know, you've got touch screens now? What if they didn't have yeah. buttons as such, but you had like touch pads? You'd have to be standing up in front of your TV. No, I mean, oh, wait, all right. You mean a pad, which is no, just yeah. Right. I don't mean your telly. You're like trying to punch the screen <laughs> to like. You mean like a DS your... as a, a controller rather than a handheld? Well, yeah. Like imagine, like see where you you're like sitting there with your Xbox controller and you've got mm-hmm. all the 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 X Y B A buttons and stuff. Imagine if that was like a little touchpad thing. Um. Or instead of having circle sticks, you have... would still need analog sticks for con- precise movement, though. Really. Unless it was quite a long flat board, saying it also had a mouse, so you would have even more intricate aiming. And it it would allow you to have like more than just the the standard four buttons on there. You could have things that were designed differently. You could have almost like the alphabet, oh, and, it's, yeah. and, and the console itself would almost be like a personal computer. <laughs> I think you're on to something here. <laughs> we should invent the PC, and then gaming will be saved. Can I go on? Onto my topic about bad peripherals because it's about the connect. Yeah, you do that. This is quite a nice segue. Go for it. Um, Dragon Ball Z Connect is out, and this by is the all game it, that, that everybody wants me to play and do like a, a filmed recording of, isn't it? After drinking copiously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah by all accounts, it's apparently the worst Connect game ever made, and that's quite a that's quite a title, thing. especially after that Star Wars one. That, that's a better title than being Russia's greatest um, love machine. I would rather be Russia's greatest love machine than Kinect's worst game. <laughs> so are you planning on buying it? <laughs> um, no, you didn't say no. You didn't say no. I'm trying to think of like some outlandish task I can issue people that will never happen so I can claim that, oh, if you have, if you do this, I will, but then, I nev- then it will never happen. Okay, right. We'll, we'll put it to a challenge, right? If this episode of the podcast up on your YouTube oh, channel. Oh, God. Whoever's listening to this just now, if this podcast reaches 500 views before, let's say, Christmas Day. Christmas <laughs> that's quite a Christmas while. I think that's, I think that's, let's say 1,000 by Christmas Day. Yeah, okay, 1,000 views by Christmas Day, 2012. That's, that's 2012. <laughs> I will go out and buy it. You have access to a Kinect. Uh, yes, I don't own one, but I have I will, access to I, one. I will get my brother's HD camera and we'll do it. <laughs> we'll, we will totally do this bitch so yeah thousand, a, a thousand views a thousand of your so get, worthwhile views so, so get people get people watching listening get you know get people involved and then we will get a video of me in person kicking, kicking the show kicking the, on Dragon Ball Connect the, uh, Flick's, Flick's house is going to get totally destroyed <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be in so much trouble actually I imagine my dog would attack you because if you make any kind of like sudden aggressive oh, movements you'll go for it come on you can't entice people <laughs> any more than that if you want to see this happen if you want to see him get savaged by my dog <laughs> <laughs> while attempting to do Kamehameha has into your TV screen oh that's tempting <sighs> Link, link, comment, subscribe, get people mm. in. Did you get... say link? You mean like? I said link. 
You said link. You mean yeah. like? No, I mean link. Like, well, okay, I mean like. Like link. Get get link it around. No, we don't want Link. He's a little midget who's in love with a jailbait girl. <laughs> and he eats fairies. He eats <laughs> fairies. I mean, <laughs> I was thinking about this. That he... I know. I know. He eats fairies. Gay people are people too. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, God. Is That's this, a good sign this... that, that we've been going on too long this because it's degrades. It's where we degenerate to just pure madness and this is ah, bad um, music so sometimes starts kicking in, isn't let's, it? Let's, well, I did have two more topics, though. Yeah, I know. Just keep going. It's fine. The music will keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get through it really quick. Those Armour 3 developers, they got arrested in Greece. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're still arrested because they can't go on trial because the Greece legal system is, quote, on strike. <laughs> oh, epic. <laughs> so they're stuck in Greece. Our thoughts are with them. I wouldn't mind being stuck. Well, actually, I was going to say I wouldn't mind being stuck in Greece, but actually, I probably would. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? The last thing I had, I was going to wait till like, next time because it might take a while. So there we go. I've just been past the most epic thing I've ever seen. Oh? this It's like, we, uh, uh, you know those boxes of like brownies that you get, like where they've, it's like tray baked brownie, they've chopped it all up mm-hmm. and put it into a tub. Mm-hmm. Well, I've got one where they haven't chopped it properly, so I've got a brick of brown. <laughs> just the, it it just tells me that God does exist. Oh, your poor toilet. It actually kind of looks like... N- never mind. Never, <laughs> never mind. It doesn't look anything like it. It's not liquid. <laughs> That's enough. That's Drop enough. brownie. We've had enough. Stop eating brownies. Oh, brownie is amazing, man. Brownie is brilliant. Brilliant. Is there any hash in it? No, unfortunately. Oh, Scottish brownie then. Mm. Scottish brownie. I'm gonna eat this brownie. Okay. We'll see you later. Man, these pretzels suck. Eat <laughs> <laughs> them, buddy. What's <laughs> down? Here, boy. Here, boy. <laughs> <laughs>